Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's got me in there too. Oh, yes, big red one. You beauty. <laughs> right. Uh, in this video, I want to take you through some of my favorite plastics for skip casting. If you haven't seen my recent skip casting videos for bass and mangrove jack, you have to check them out. There's heaps of action and it takes you through the kind of gear you need to do it. Let me show you the plastics that I really love. This is one of the uh, Molex RT shads. They came out last season and I've caught plenty of jacks on these things. They've got a nice slender profile and a broad body. That shad style sort of pattern really helps with the skipping. And I just run it with one of these weighted EWG hooks. I'll show you some of the other ones that I like to use. The casting gear that I've got, I've just got a 200 Corrado. These things are fabulous. They're just really lightweight, great for skip casting all day. And I'm running a Shimano Raider rod. This is a three to six kilo Bass Raider, which for jacks, it, it might be a little bit undergunned in terms of the sort of backbone power that it's got, but you actually need that softness to be able to get your skipping going. So that's why I use these. They're just brilliant for skip casting. And I can even skip cast little plastics for bass with this thing. My favorite plastics, those RT shads are great. These Eco Gear bolts have been fantastic for me over the years. They come in a three and a four, oh, I think it's a three and a half and a four inch um, and a six. I love the four inch ones. The, um, that's what you're looking for with those RT shads. They come in some great realistic colors, those things. And the smaller ones are good for bass too. Um, but these would have to be one of my favorites, the Flash J Shad by Fish Arrow. These things are just an amazing construction. They've just got such a great profile to them. They look just like a potty, and they've got a big, broad thumping tail on the back end and an internal foil. You can see, maybe pick up that flash in there. I just love skipping these things. They've got like a little slit there where you can sit the weedless hook as well. They've been, I reckon they've been specially designed for it. They're, um, they're perfect for sliding in under the trees and that sort of thing. And that's the advantage you're getting when you skip casting is getting in under the cover. So there's some that I used last season. And after this year, I saw uh, a company that um, I think EJ Todd are bringing these in. They're called Beer Wah Submissions. And if you see them hit the shelves, grab yourself a packet. They look the business for this kind of skip casting. They've got a nice flat side to them, big paddle tail and a perfect little potty presentation. So um, if you haven't got into it yet, make sure you go back, check, check a couple of my skip casting, skip casting 101 videos on how to do it and um, the types of country that you, you're gonna use it because it's something else. It's adrenaline pumping stuff, especially chasing jacks. It's, uh, you'll spend a whole session with your heart in your mouth. I can't rep it hard enough. I don't know if many people are doing it. Um, and the reason is, because man, my catch rates go up when I get skip casting, especially early season in under overhanging trees like that, skipping it past logs and ripping it past nice and fast. It's like power fishing, it's intense stuff and um, a lot of fun. So hopefully some of those little options, if you see them in your tackle store, you'll know what to look out for or the shape of the, of the plastic that you're trying to find. Um, I reckon four, even up to five inches fine. You don't sort of want to go too small. You want something, a big profile that can get pumping really quickly and a side to side action with that back paddle is what you're after. So um, there's some plastics that will roll a lot when, you, when you're ripping them in. I reckon that detracts from the pumping side to side tail action that I really like to get with my plastics for mangrove jack. So um, I think Barra don't mind a roll on their body, but for the jacks, I really like that side to side pumping action. a big one. Oh, it's got me in there too. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it out. Yes, big red one. You beauty. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. Yes. My man, one. that's what we were chasing, bro. Eco gear bolt. Look at that. Take a look. Look at the cover that it's pull pulled out of. Almost impossible. So anyway, I hope these videos are helping you get prepped and get all the gear you need to get it done this season. I'll see you in the next video.